Joining me now to talk about what we expect this evening with President Trump at his rally in Pensacola, Florida, is a former Trump campaign manager, David Bossy. He also happens to be co-author of the new book, Let Trump Be Trump. David, great to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, so uh, typically at these rallies, the president has a speech, it's in the teleprompter, and then he goes off prompter, and sometimes with anecdotes and comments that go as long as uh, seven or eight or ten minutes. Um, that's Trump being Trump. Is, is Trump going to be Trump tonight? Oh, I fully expect in, in Pensacola, Florida, we're going to get a full dose of Donald Trump. This is what he does so well. This is what he loves, being with the people, spreading the good news of his administration, the strong economic growth. You know, uh, you look at the job numbers today, 220 plus thousand new jobs in November, 2.2 million new jobs. Uh, since he's been elected, deregulation, tax reform that we're going to probably be talking about this coming week, getting to the president's desk, hopefully by Christmas. It is the good news of, of his administration. Right. I know the left and the mainstream media wants to tear him down, but there, there are so many good things to talk about. Uh, the president's going to have no problem doing it. Yeah, I just jotted down a few things uh, since he took office. Jobs up, consumer confidence up, manufacturing up, housing starts up, construction's up, stock market is way up. <laughs> way, way uh, up economic yeah. growth is, is up so much, 3% in two of the last three quarters since he took office. Earning and income uh, are up, unemployment is down. Uh, so economically, it, it's a rosy picture. Uh, and, and, but, and, Greg, and Greg, it's, the, it's not, it's all of those things, and it's the confidence, the consumer confidence, the, right. the hope, growth, and opportunity message of, of Ronald Reagan and Jack Kemp that hasn't been talked about in over 30 years is back. But it's and contingent, that's what, that's David, what, on tax reform, isn't it? Absolutely. I, I think you're right. And I think that the, the, the Dow being this high is expecting tax reform to get done. And that's what this House and Senate, they're working. I hope that they'll Is come together happen? on their conference committee. I, I fully expect tax reform to be done. All right. Let me ask you about the other thing that he is likely to talk about, and that is not only immigration, because now his travel ban is fully in effect, Supreme Court allowing it, uh, there'll still be some litigation. Sure. But what about the wall? I mean, that is something that he has been pushing for and moving in the direction of establishing. He'll talk about that, won't he? Uh, you can guarantee at a rally in Pensacola, Florida, uh, letting Trump be Trump would not happen if he wasn't going to talk about immigration and building the wall for our national security. There's no question about it, especially this is the first, you know, big rally that he's going to have where he can talk directly to people after this atrocious Kate Steinle verdict of last week in San Francisco, that embarrassing verdict. Uh, it, it, is a, it is a travesty of justice, and she would be alive today uh, if, if the president, uh, Obama, had built a wall uh, it, and, or deported people. Or just is, enforce existing right, law. Exactly. We, right. we, it's illegal for a state or local government to not cooperate with ISIS. It's literally a statute that was passed 21 years ago. It's, it's mind-boggling that they've been able to get away with it for as and long it's in, as they And have. it's in community after community that they've been doing this yeah. for all of Barack Obama's uh, terms, and, and both of the, those terms. And now this president has changed it, and I think we're, we're, we're seeing lower numbers of crossings. We're seeing lower deten detentions because right. there are fewer here. The, the president, just through the sheer force of his will, just like economic growth, has turned uh, just the volume up on, Im on illegal immigration, and we've seen the numbers yeah. go down. All right. David Bossy, uh, thank you very much. Your book's doing great. It's on my Christmas list. Maybe Santa will think I was a good boy this year. Well, boy. I hope Barnes, Barnes & Noble will send it to you. Amazon's having a hard time keeping up with demand. <laughs> I have no <laughs> doubt. David Bossy, great to see you. Thanks very much.